So today I'm going to start talking about the different mechanisms that we're going to encounter in chemistry, um, substitution reactions, elimination reactions, and several other reactions as well. You're going to be utilizing these throughout your OCHEM, so it's really important that you have a good grasp on the way these mechanisms work and the way the electrons interact with each other. So basically, the point of these mechanisms is just to follow the path of electrons and how they attach and detach things together to form new products. So, and uh, the purpose of drawing mechanisms is so that you can see exactly where each electron goes and so that you can know exactly how products might be formed. So the first reaction that I'm going to discuss today is the SN2 reaction. SN2. SN2 is also known as bimolecular nucleophilic substitution and it's also known as backside attack. Uh, the reason for this is because it literally will attack the back side of a molecule. So if you have a tetrahedral, like this one let's say, it would literally attack in here from the back. So that's why it's called backside attack. Also it's called SN2 because both the incoming group and leaving group uh, happen in one step and they're both responsible for the rate determining step of the reaction and so that's why it's SN2 because both species are responsible for the rate determining step. Okay so now I'm going to go ahead and draw an SN2 reaction for you so you can see an example of, of how this works. Okay so let's say for example we start with methyl bromide and methyl bromide has the formula CH3Br like that so I'm going to go ahead and draw it out with all the hydrogens so that you can see exactly what's going on here. And let's say that we have this methyl bromide in some OH minus. So OH minus looks like this. And we know that OH minus, um, we draw the minus sign and I'm going to go ahead and draw all the electrons around the oxygen so that when we draw the arrows you want to make sure that um, they're in a fish hook fashion so they're curvy and that the the point of the arrow points exactly to where you're going and the tail of the arrow comes exactly from the electrons you're talking about so that there's no confusion otherwise you know you can't if you kind of draw vague arrows you can't really understand what's happening so what's going to happen in the SN2 reaction is you're going to have a nucleophile like this one and it's going to attack the carbon in a molecule like this methyl bromide. So literally what's going to happen is that this these electrons from here are going to attack that carbon right there and what happens and like I said SN2 reactions both steps happen at once so you have this coming out here and at the same time the electrons that are forming this bond right here go to the bromine. So and I'm just for this example, I'm using methyl bromide, but you know this could be anything, it could be any other halogen or whatever. So then we have this. So then, so then once you've drawn the first arrows, then you draw an arrow like that, signifying that you're going to draw the resultant of what's happened in what you explained right here. So what is it that we're going to have here? We're going to have this nucleophile. and now it's attached to this carbon and then we had the three hydrogens like that now I'm gonna go ahead and draw these electrons in here too just I always like to do that just so that I don't get confused but so for example here you see that we have the two electrons that are contributing to this bond here with the hydrogen and then we have the six electrons remaining that are around two of those electrons have now contributed to a bond between this carbon and the oxygen. So we have four electrons left or two lone pairs. I'm going to draw them in right there. And then what happened to the bromine? Now we have the bromine left over and now this is going to be a negatively charged bromine because it received the electrons that came off of this bond right here and that's shown by that red arrow there. So now we have an, a negatively charged uh, bromine. So that's basically the SN2 reaction. 
And what are our products going to be? The methanol and just bromide. And bromide is just the, the ion. So, so that you can understand um, what, it, what they mean by backside attack, I'm going to draw this with uh, stereochemistry. And literally what they're saying is that this nucleophile is going to come in and attack the carbon from the backside, like I mentioned in here, like this, this being the, the bromine. So it's going to come in and attack like that. Um, and it's going to invert the stereochemistry, kind of like how an umbrella would get blown inside out by the wind. So if we have this here, and we have one carbon there, and we have, I'm sorry, one hydrogen there, that hydrogen, that hydrogen, and this is attached to the bromine. It's coming in there. The resultant would be Just like that. So you can see the serochemistry of this was literally inverted, like like I said, like an umbrella getting flipped out by the wind. So um, because SN2s do this and attack from the backside, they're going to prefer molecules that are not extremely hindered. So if this actually had, instead of hydrogens on each of these points, if it had uh, methyl groups, it would be an extremely bulky extremely crowded area over here and this uh, nucleophile would not be able to get in there 